I <laughs> turned down my yes, so many shows and I was expecting it. Uh, pop up events at Polaris Mall, which is in Columbus. Makes sense if it has to be upstairs, like some hill. The most profitable time of the year. It has not been that way for me. It has been so slow. Right after she said she would cut my hair, I got ghosted when she was asking for my availability and I was like, I'm always available. <laughs> not know where my tripod like twisty thing is so I'm just gonna prop you guys up here on something I shouldn't yeah <laughs> what's new and we just need to really tackle getting this office cleaned up because I can't function when it looks like this so let's <laughs> let's get going back this probably isn't even a new vlog why am i acting like it is maybe it is though so if it is the new vlog um i've lost track of time it is wednesday december 13th i think it's the 13th i'm almost positive and i know i told you guys that i wasn't going to be doing any more shows but oh my goodness i have spent the last since that show on december 2nd I've spent nonstop looking at events, seeing if I can get into a last minute Christmas show because as you guys know, it did not go as well as I was hoping. Uh, and I have so much like winter themed stuff left that I, like I'm doing myself a disservice if I don't go to another show, whether it is a amazing outcome or I even just sell a few things I need to get rid of some of that stuff so I don't have to hold on to it for another year because I don't know what life plans if we're going to be moving or I just don't want to have a lot of stuff in storage um for an entire year so I <laughs> turned down my so many shows and I was expecting it even like very very local shows where 
uh, they probably had space, but it was so last minute, they were like, no. Uh, and I can't blame them for that. Um, what I have learned is that craft shows are a lot of who you know. I've found that, especially local small ones, uh, it's like friends and their friends are the ones going to shows. It's not even, like a lot of them aren't even displayed advertised. It's just they already know what group they want to invite and they invite them and they don't invite anyone else. Um, so that's strange. I need to obviously get in with one of these groups, but it's a lot of like, not to like stereotype, it's a lot of like older uh, females, you know, that are running these groups and in the groups. So I don't, I don't know. This really, like where I live really isn't my uh, specific target audience though. I guess it could be. I haven't I've done, I've truly have not done a local show, so I don't even know that for sure, but I just, I just feel it's not. Although, did I tell you, I don't think I told you guys, because I have not vlogged in like a week, because I have just like been really grinding on my part-time job, and then, where have I been? I don't, I've been, I've been busy. Um, but I did sign up. I talked to someone from a local um, Quaker college uh, to see if I can do like pop-ups at the college and they said yes. Um, I think it's like $50 for a full day I could be there. Um, and I don't have to be there the full day either. It's just like whenever I want during the day. Um, I can do a pop-up it's a small college though, so I'm, I think I'm gonna try it and see how it goes. Um, it could be amazing, because like I said, college students are like, I've done really well with them so far. Or it could be a bust because it's such a small college and to have, I don't know how many people are gonna be walking through the common area that they put, um, what they call them as tabling vendors and But I'm gonna try it regardless. Anyways, a uh, roundabout way of saying yesterday, no, two days ago. It is December 13th. <laughs> so mind you, I found, and I went to this lady's site before, but she is in charge of uh, pop-up events at Polaris Mall, which is in Columbus, which is so, f it's, it's far from me, but it's where, it's near where my sister lives. So it is, I Google mapped it, um, an hour and 45 minutes away. Um, which is going to be a long drive in the morning, but it's at a mall and it's like peak winter season. So she had spots available for this upcoming Saturday and Sunday. And while Saturday would have been the smartest choice for me, um, that would have been a 14 hour day. And I do not have the strength, the mental strength in me to sign up for that. Um, even if I spend the night at my sister's house, that's just way too long of a day. And honestly, I hate the idea of like being away from Asher and I know he would be fine because Randy, uh, amazing dad, he knows what to do. Um, but I still don't like being away from him, especially overnight. I do, I might still spend the night though. Um, so I signed up for the Sunday one. It's still a really long day because the mall has extended hours. Um, so it's gonna be, a, I just got the email today. So far she's been super, super uh, efficient and organized with like sending things out. I don't really have any questions, um, but it starts at 12, no, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. So it's extended. Normally Sunday hours are a lot shorter than that. It's usually like until five or six. Um, and, but I, so for a Sunday vendor, I can't set up the night before cause there's Saturday vendors. Um, so I, the earliest I can get there is 10 AM. So I'm only going to have an hour window there. Actually, I think it might've been an hour and a half window. I think that actually might start at 1130. Could be, I could be wrong. So I have an hour to an hour and a half. It's manageable. It's an indoor market. Uh, I rented a table cause I just didn't want to fuss with like bringing my own table. So that's already going to be there. It's going to have two chairs. Um, it was so much money though. It was a hundred and I had a coupon code too. It was a hundred and sixty nine dollars after tax um, and including the table rental. So that's what put me off from ever signing up for it in the months before when I had looked at her site before because she has it so laid out so nicely where you can just sign up online and you know if it's sold out and it's not sold out because you can't purchase your vendor spot because um, it's all through online. 
if it's sold out it will say sold out on it so the whole experience so far has been good but it was expensive um but it is at like the biggest indoor mall in columbus which is ohio state capital so i'm really hoping i got rid of this christmas stuff i think i'm gonna put stuff on sale right now i'm on etsy i'm 30 percent off and i made it free shipping i raised some of my prices i think i raised like four to six dollars to kind of cover some of that shipping um but i'm still losing money with that 30 percent off but i need to get rid of inventory so like my profit margin is it's small um, but again, the show's last, like, the, the December Tiger show did not go anywhere near what I had planned. So, I'm willing to not make much money just to get rid of my stuff. Um, and I, it's all like a you live and you learn experience where this is my first time ever doing this. This is my first Christmas season. Everyone said, oh, Christmas season is so busy. You're going to be so busy um, with online sales and uh, it's going to be the, the best time profit-wise of the profit did I even say that? Profit wise, it sounds weird, coming out of my mouth. Um, the most profitable time of the year. It has not been that way for me. It has been so slow. The last order, up until I did not film yesterday. Actually, I did film. I did film. Good job, Brittany. Uh, I got an order while I was working. I looked at my phone and it said, um, purchase on Etsy. Um, someone ordered two cups from me. That was the first order, and also the last order I've had, um, since November, like, bef a few days before Thanksgiving. <laughs> the, that's so, that's, there, there's been, like, f what, three weeks in between there? Um, not great. So, <sighs> did I finish my complete thought? So, I have a show on Sunday. Um, I need to, like, prep putting stuff into bins and getting it ready again. And I need to do my 8x8 display for the show because I have an 8x8 space. And I still need to send her a photo of what I want to do to see if it's approved because Polaris has strict uh, policies on how you can display things. So I don't know if I can even bring these specific clothing racks or, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I need to take a photo and then send it to her and hopefully she's like, that's fine. Um, to finish out another thought because wrapping back down to bad sales because I had such a bad uh, Christmas market for online stuff um, and in person I was like you know because this is before two pre two days ago when I signed up for this expensive market um, I was like well maybe I'll just I have never done any marketing like um, or like promotion ads I've never spent money on uh, business ads so maybe I'll take the money that I wanted to use for a market $60 because that was like what I was used to spending for markets um, not the 169 and I'm gonna put that towards um, ads and <laughs> it's not going well so I spent 60 no I spent 45 yes 45 on TikTok ads I put two different TikTok posts up to be a shoppable ad. So um, how it worked was they, I had a $45 budget and within three days they were gonna spend that budget putting it out to the people I specifically asked for. So it's kind of cool that you can do this. I said I want it to go out to um, 18 to, I think it was 41 year old females um, because that's my demographic. And you can even go as far as in what I did, you go into what their interests are. So I said clothing and accessories. Um, and I think I even put some beauty in there too, like that demographic, because I'm like, they're kind of similar. Um, and then I, you can go even deeper, which I did, and have that. So I have 18 to 41 year old um, people that like clothing and beauty, uh, females. And people that have commented and shared videos. Like, it's going as deep as they know that those people have interacted with uh, other posts. So here's the problem. Um, I did not account for TikTok not realizing how many spam accounts there are. And my post has been getting spammed now. Um, so it's pushing it out to spam accounts. So we're getting these comments saying like hello beautiful hat like really broken English um and not real people like you you know when you go to their page and it's 
like no one follows them they don't put it's it's very spammy it's a very spammy thing um and I know a few of them have been real people because um, I've had some followers. I've gotten probably like 35 followers from that $45. Zero sales. Um, and maybe a few of them have looked legit. Um, so I think if any of you are listening and you are thinking about doing TikTok ads, maybe don't put in the like people that have commented and shared because I think that is what bit me. You're gonna get spam accounts no matter what, but I had so many spam accounts on it that I think that was the thing that made it fail the most. Um, so yeah, I did that, so that $45 was wasted. <laughs> Maybe one of the subscribers at some point will buy something and it will start making it worth it. I just like highly doubt it. Um, and then I spent $15 so on TikTok, so I made a total of $60 and like, promotions and ads. I did the promote, so it's not an ad, but it's pushing it out to more people. Um, and that $15 got me nothing. So, um, it did push it out to more people though. And it was on a video that I, so I did a, so my boo basket is why my, uh, boo cups went viral. So I did a burr basket and I promoted that video, um, because within the first 200 views, I already had like six favorites and, um, I think like 40 likes which to me is a lot so I'm like let me promote this video because obviously people are favoriting it um but I didn't really I got maybe a couple more favorites after that and didn't push out any further than that um what it gave me 700 uh extra views so it did not go viral <laughs> needless to say and I did not sell anything from TikTok um I haven't sold anything on TikTok in weeks so, and then I was feeling defeated about that, that I went to Etsy and I was like, well, I'm going to try an Etsy ad. Um, and how they have it is that you can promote items and you can pick what items you want to promote. So I went through all of my um, winter items and promoted them and you get them a budget for each day. You can be as low as $1 a day. So you're spending like $30 a month or until you turn it off um, up to, I think, $45 a day. I had it on $5 a day and I wasn't really thinking this through if that's like $150 a month. Granted, I could turn it off. Um, so I was thinking for a week, I'm going to do $5 a day. I ended up going down to $3 a day because I was like, oh, I don't want to spend that much money because TikTok failed. Um, but I did get an order yesterday and I think it was because of the promote thing. Um, so I'm hoping we can get a couple more orders in so then that evens out the promote money I spent. Um, but I sold like the two winter cups, which is great because again, I need to get rid of my winter cups. And actually, um, right now my stock I have are, I have a ton of Gingies already made. Um, so those are the ones I really want to get rid of. And I am done with my winter cups. So, I mean, I have more blank cups. We're not going to make any more unless I sell them. So it's not going to be like a made to order thing. I'm not going to do any for the I have some for the show but they're not the ones that I sell online they're my old cups that have the glass straws which I love the glass straws but I don't like the old cups because they're just a little bit thinner and I really like the Libby cups and when I buy them um I have way less of an issue with like defects when they come in so and I have not found a lid that can um do the thick glass straws because the lids that I have found so far for the Libby cups only have the little straws which is why I have the metal ones now um so what I'm trying to say is I put some of the prints on the old cups but I'm just trying to get rid of the old cups so I'm not going to make any more because I don't have any more old cups so what I need to do <laughs> is I need to put my display together um send her a photo hopefully get it approved I need to I'm excited about so I've been doing Stanley accessories so you guys know I already have um I've shown you many times I can't wait to start making like cute like bright designs on this but right now I only have like fitness ones um but I have my Stanley or water whatever water bottle cup uh a holder you put your phone in there you put whatever, whatever your wallet um very handy if you want to like go to the grocery store go to like if when i go to mom group um you put your wallet in it or whatever you carry your chapstick i'm thinking everything i carry wallet chapstick lotion and yeah i'm pretty much set oh my keys 
and I have my straw covers, which I don't make, I told you guys, I don't make these clearly. <laughs> um, but I sell, I just have these as add-ons for a dollar. I just have, I want some like lower price merch, but I bought, where'd they go? Um, on Etsy, they had a sale for more water bottle covers, but I didn't realize I got the wrong size. Um, they're huge, but it's for like your normal straw, not your Stanley straw. I'm still gonna sell these. I have eight of them. Um, it also came with a pack of weird stickers that I will put in my like freebie sticker um, bin to give out. So I can't complain about that. And then what I'm really excited for, I need to make them still, but I wanted to start doing Stanley accessories uh, for the handle. So I am gonna start making really cute, adorable, um, I wish I had one to make. Uh, essentially, it's going to be a little charm, and it hooks onto the handle of your Stanley and just dangles there. Um, my charms have not came in yet. I have some letter charms, but I'm not going to do these for this show. I might bring them, see if anyone wants one um, to add on to it, but I got really pretty pearl charms I'm gonna add on to it it's just gonna be really classy looking once I make them I will show it to you guys but um, that's gonna be a project for tonight or tomorrow probably so we're gonna do that and I think this is the biggest thing I need to start working on um, I need to put these out oh I need to also put together I know it looks like I just woke up, but like this is just what I've looked like today. <laughs> uh, it's been a rough day with Asher. It's been real rough. He's not been happy. Um, and I had to bathe him. He's been splishy splashing in the toilet a lot. And so yeah, we had to have an early morning bath. I did not go to the gym. I'm not planning on the gym. And that's why I'm in like what looks like PJs already and all day. So I got some stands for my cups and I don't really love this but it was on sale for like nine dollars and my current stands I hate and this one should once I make it I'll show you guys it should be where it's all connected and is a little more stable than the ones I have which are the acrylic ones and I've complained about them a lot the only thing I'm thinking now is they're at the top, there's still not a backing on it, which sucks because you're still at that high drop zone risk for glasses. Although I had a girl at my show um, last two weekend, last weekend, two weekends ago, um, who was holding my cup. And sometimes people hold it from the lid. The lids aren't meant to like, they're suctioned, right? So it's not gonna, it's not a twist on where it's like secure. So um, while they're suctioned in there, there's a fall risk and she held, she like held it by the lid and didn't see it in time and it just fell. Um, the Libby glasses are so strong <laughs> and thick that it fell on the wood floor and did not even crack. Um, I'm impressed with them. So if that didn't tell me that I love those cups, I don't know what will. Um, so they should be okay even if they fall over, especially when it's on the table. I've talked enough. I need to put everything together. I need to, Asher will wake up at any moment, I'm sure. I just did two hours, uh, with my part-time job, which means he's been asleep for two hours, which is a long time. He's getting up at 6.30 though, um, so he better be tired right now. Um, and then I need to just, like, clean some things up because, you know, when you have a toddler, they are constantly creating extra messes. So we're going to deal with that. And I don't know if I'll update you today, but I will definitely by tomorrow. I might show you guys the progress I've made with this setup though. So I may peek back in. I may not. We'll see. My own world of make believe kids screaming in the cradles. Listen, as you're sleeping, I messed up my hair this morning, technically, probably a few days ago, but like definitely this morning, I made it worse. So I followed a Brad Mondo um, hair cutting layers, and the 
reason I do this is because I had been trying to get into a salon and I got ghosted um, right after she said she would cut my hair. I got ghosted when she was asking for my availability and I was like, I'm always available. <laughs> So instead of being a logical human and reaching out again, I was just like, I'm just going to cut it myself um, because I cut Asher's hair, cut Randy's hair, um, saved money, cut it myself. And this has nothing to do with Brad Mondo, um, it has everything to do with me. I did not follow it perfectly and I cut the front pieces too short, the really, it's the front pieces that are the issue. Um, and this side, so I. I thought I messed this side up and then I caught it to where it looked okay and I was like okay well now I have to replicate this side um, and I did it poorly and then I ended up making it too blunt in the front. It doesn't look that bad and you might be screaming like okay well stop cutting it then um, but I really want to fix it. I think I'm just going to go in and just make it a little more, <laughs> it's not fully razored down enough framing. My camera's also going to die. Oh, update on Accutane is that I still have not started it. It's been two weeks since I was supposed to. Um, exactly 14 days. And so I tried calling yesterday just to get an update on from Walgreens because remember CVS already like would not get it for me. Um, just to see where it was because it's been in processing forever. Um, and I was on hold for half an hour and they kept answering and saying, please hold and for half an hour. And then at one of the times they answered and then just hung up. So at that point I was frustrated and so I just went to the gym because I was running out of time. And then, um, and then I called again today and I finally got a hold of someone. It took 14 minutes, not as bad this time. And I did make human contact. And they um, never really like, ordered it. So that's why it's not in. It's, yeah. So anyways, she's gonna try to order it, but the thing with Accutane is that you have to get it within a certain amount of time um, to get it. Otherwise the pledge you sign is void. So I don't know if I'm actually going to get it or not. Um, or I have to go to another dermatologist appointment to get the prescription filled again and sign the pledge, which I calculated would be 140 extra dollars added to my time on Accutane um, because of it doubling up on doctor appointments and also the amount of time I spend like factoring in like driving and gas because it's an hour to get there. Um, so I'm spending two hours a day just driving there, you know? It's annoying. Oh, take, did I take off too much? Okay. I need to stop cutting. I need to stop cutting. Okay, I am, I am messing this up and that's just gonna have to. That's a little better, I think. See, I'm just taking off like an inch at a time. Next time you see me, I'm not gonna have hair. That's where we're at. Okay, I'm gonna shower real quick because I just went to the gym and I'm nasty. And I'll come back and we need to put some Stanley Cup accessories together. I'm gonna put you on some music though, so I will see you either later today or tomorrow. But you'll for sure see me working on Stanley Cups, whether I'm talking or Wish me luck with this. <laughs> okay, I think I think it looks okay. I'm officially done um, messing it up. So this is what we're working with for the next year. It's still long. I didn't actually take length off. I just layered it um, a lot. And it's just a little shorter than I wanted in the front, a little chunkier than I wanted. Uh, but you, you guys know me, it will be in a ponytail almost every day. So now it's time to show. <laughs> I love everything. Fire.
fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright, hush night before the show and that means I am semi-stressed. Not that bad, but just because I don't really have to do anything. I did make a lot of jewelry today, which is my first time selling it. I don't have a great way to display it, so we'll see what happens. Um, I already had most of the supplies. All I had to do was buy the freshwater pearls um, and it was easier than I had anticipated. So we'll see. I think I'm going to sell them for like five bucks. Um, Maybe the big ones for $8. I think that was kind of expensive to get the um, dangles, but like the little ones weren't that bad. So everything's pretty much in the car, except for a few things. I have to still put my risers in the car, um, my jewelry, and then I need to get on Canva and make a printout because I want to make a sign that says $30 because I'm going to try to just sell all of my sweatshirts for $30 tomorrow um, on sale. So that's really what I need to do. Oh, I also need to get a basket for my sales section and then a sign for that. No, I think, I don't think I, no, I don't know. Maybe, maybe make a sign for that. So not too bad. I still need a shower and make dinner. I am hungry. It is five o'clock, so we are running low on time, and I still want to make a spreadsheet of inventory so I can actually keep track of what I sell. That way I can, throughout the day, um, be taking it offline too, just in case someone buys. Um, but I mean, <laughs> it's not been good, so. Oh, Accutane update. I went to Walgreens in person today. So when I checked the site to see if it was available, it said, um, I don't know what word they use, but basically like an air message. And it said my insurance was the issue. So I just went in, um, I needed to update my card anyways. And that's when they're like, well, it wasn't your insurance. It was the fact that since it had originally went to CVS, um, the iPledge system that alerts like or opens up me to be able to even get a prescription was because um, it was sent to CVS when they the next day um, changed my pickup to Walgreens to order it what they had failed to tell me is that I pledge 
no one like mentioned i pledge i guess from what the pharmacist said today does not uh transfer prescriptions you have to do it all over again so i have to do a whole nother appointment again which is what i was worried about in the first place so it's going to be another couple weeks until i can get on accutane and that does cost me money because every appointment obviously is money lost and that time like the hour um, two hours technically drive <laughs> round trip is also time lost. So um, it sucks. It is just acne though. Uh, it's not like a life saving medicine. So I'm not like too stressed about it. It's just disappointing. So Accutane journey is on pause for now. I'm going to call Monday to see if there's any way we can somehow not do another pregnancy test and another appointment for them to like redo the eye pledge for me to go in and sign for it but uh i highly doubt that's going to be the case i've already prepped myself to know that's not the case but i'm going to ask anyways um so yeah that is what's going on with that i have one battery charged for tomorrow so i'm gonna go ahead when i get off here and charge the other one and we're gonna just do it my sister's gonna be with me tomorrow she reluctantly said she would come because it's like 10 minutes away from her. I think I told you guys this. I doubt she will want to be on camera. So I'm going to do my best to get as much footage as I can. Um, and I'm nervous. I am nervous. I am nervous. I am nervous. I rented a table. What I'm most nervous about is somehow that's not going to be there when I get there. Um, and I already did. I didn't update you on this. So um, the person organizing it said you have to get your setup approved if you want to bring clothing racks ahead of time. So I sent her the photos because she, uh, on the, when you sign up for it, it says you have an eight by eight space. Um, and so I did a setup of, um, two clothing racks on the edges of a six foot table, which is uh, plenty of room for like an eight by eight. But she just, I had to like follow up on the email cause I was getting nervous yesterday. I still hadn't heard. Um, and she just replied today saying, I cannot do that setup. Um, and so I sent an email back saying, um, uh, that's fine. Uh, I can lose like one of the, can I do an L then? But she, what she had said is that it's such a busy, um, show that my like setup is too large, which is a little confusing because it's supposed to be an eight way spot, but clearly that is not the case. So I'm hoping the L works because that's what I'm packing for. And that's like, I can't do anything smaller than that. I just can't. Um, so we'll see tomorrow what happens. Hopefully my spot fits, but from the vendor map she gave me, I am positioned next to a stairwell and there's no one beside me. So like, um, it's me on one side of the stairs and another vendor on the other side of the stairs. So I doesn't, from the map, and it's a, like a hand-drawn map, it doesn't look like it should be an issue, but I honestly don't know how much room in the aisle there is next to that staircase. She did say that um, it is possible that I can go upstairs, but there's no one up there. I don't, I don't know. Basically, in the email, I was just like, um, can I do, I want to do an L shape. Um, so wherever that makes sense if it has to be upstairs like send me up do you anyone want to guess what that was um it was that okay. i'm fine okay well let's make sure nothing's broken perfect perfect that was what i was most worried about there is some glass over here. Well, I mean, like, not saying glass pieces, but, um, wait. All good. Um, anyways, I have to go. Uh, I need to clean this up, and I need to just finish the night stuff and then figure this stuff on the floor into a bag, and then I am ready. And there is a baby that has just entered, so I am leaving. I love you, I will see you in the morning. Just tripping on day, dreams got dirty, little lullabies playing on repeat. Might as well just ride around the nursery and count sheep.